39 innocent people and injured more than 150 others. With the entire nation, I stand with the families of those who have lost their lives and extend every Kenyan's deepest condolences. I ask God to give you comfort as you confront this strategy, this tragedy. And I know what you feel having also personally lost very close family members in this attack. My government will provide the support you will need in the days to come. To those who were injured, I wish you a quick recovery from the physical and other shocks you underwent today. The government will be at hand to ensure that your lives return to normal as quickly as possible. The people of Kenya have been wonderful as always. With your support, we safely evacuated hundreds of people from the mall. I salute your conscientiousness and selfless acts of solidarity in response to the terrorist attack. Your courage and sympathy saved many lives and reassured countless people. I commend those who volunteered by giving first aid, transporting the injured to hospital, donating blood, locating and contacting loved ones, and making it easy for rescue, medical, and security personnel to do their work. I appreciate those who have used the media to rally help of all kinds, condole with and comfort the affected, and thank all those responsible citizens who have desisted from spreading panic and despondency. Please continue helping and continue praying. The despicable perpetrators of this cowardly act hoped to intimidate, divide, and cause despondency amongst Kenyans. They would like us to retreat into a closed, fearful, and fractured society where trust, unity, and enterprise are difficult to muster. An open and united country is a threat to evildoers everywhere. With our values of solidarity and love for our homeland, we fought proudly and bravely to secure the freedom to lead our lives as we choose. Our choice is codified in our constitution. We have overcome terrorist attacks before. In fact, we have fought courageously and defeated them within and outside our borders. We will defeat them again. Terrorism, in and of itself, is the philosophy of cowards. The way we lead our lives in freedom, openness, unity, and consideration for each other represents our victory over those who wish us ill. We are as brave and invincible as the lions on our coat of arms. My government stands ready to defend the nation from internal as well as external aggression. I urge all Kenyans to stand together and see this dark moment through. Donate blood, provide information to the authorities, comfort and reassure the affected families. There is a shame the devil by his works, by demonstrating our timeless values of love, compassion, and solidarity. Our security forces are conducting a multi-agency response to this attack as we speak and are in the process of neutralizing 
the attackers and securing the mall. It is a very delicate operation as our top priority remains to safeguard the lives of innocent people held up in this unfortunate incident. But let me make it clear that we shall hunt down the perpetrators wherever they run to. We shall get them and we shall punish them for this heinous crime. I have directed security agencies to be decisive in their response to this or any other threat. They must and will do this to demonstrate our Constitution's categorical guarantee of Kenyans' indefeasible rights to life and property. Across the country, we have tightened security, but I urge all of you to remain calm and vigilant. God bless you. God bless the people of Kenya. God bless Kenya. Thank you.